Today we're taking a look at the new Panasonic G9 Mark II, a micro four thirds camera that you're definitely gonna wanna hear about. Now today's video isn't going to be an in-depth technical review of the camera. If you did want a quick little rundown of all the specs, they're right here. But we're not gonna be focusing on that stuff today. We're instead gonna be focusing on the different use cases that we think this camera might fit and uh, what photographers might benefit from this new G9 Mark II. Now, before we jump into the use cases of this new awesome little camera, we did wanna quickly highlight that it's got the same body design as the S5 Mark II. So it's got the same viewfinder grip, pretty well everything other than the vent up at the top. And of course the micro four thirds sensor and lens mount. Uh, but if you have any accessories that worked with the S5 Mark II, like cages, grips, anything like that, they will fit on this new body. And uh, yeah, we're really big fans of the way this guy feels in the hand. It's nice and comfortable and nice and small and compact. Now, the first use case that comes to mind when talking about Micro Four Thirds cameras is, of course, wildlife. A lot of wildlife shooters like Micro Four Thirds for the small body sizes, small lenses, and large crop factor from the smaller sensor that allows them to have much smaller kits for when they're hiking up in the bush, shooting bears and stuff. The G9 Mark II is going to be fantastic for wildlife as it adds phase detect autofocus with animal tracking and has up to eight stops of image stabilization to get those extra steady shots when you're in an unfamiliar environment. Now, another use case for the G9 Mark II would be street photography. Not only is it nice and small and discreet, and of course we talked about that awesome stabilization, but they also included a Leica monochrome color profile right in the camera. So you can have your JPEGs looking fantastic right at a camera with little to no editing required. And speaking of editing, we unfortunately still don't have Lightroom RAW access for this guy. So we're not necessarily gonna talk nearly as much about image quality, but rest assured that 25 megapixels on a micro four thirds camera is gonna give you plenty of detail for cropping and social media posting and all that kind of stuff. Now, speaking of social media, the G9 Mark II is gonna make for a great content creation camera as it's got almost all the same video features as the GH6, like 5.8K open gate recording, cinema 4K at up to 60 frames a second, ProRes video externally to an SSD, all of that in 10 bits. Uh, so really great video features on here, but it's also got a four x three sensor, which means cropping for vertical or horizontal video is super easy without much loss in quality. Now, landscape photography has never necessarily been a strength of Micro Four Thirds cameras, but this guy is doing some stuff to try to beat that stigma. Uh, it's got a 100 megapixel high res handheld mode. This used to be a mode that was only ever limited to tripod users, but you can now get ultra detailed 100 megapixel shots only going handheld. You will still need lots of light as it is still a Micro Four Thirds sensor and the images do start to fall apart at those higher ISO values. But if you've got lots of light like we do today, you can get some really detailed shots off of this guy. There are of course a ton of other use cases we could have mentioned for a camera of this caliber, like sports shooting, documentary filmmaking, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But for 2,600 bucks, I think you're getting a fantastic camera out of this new flagship. And it has me really excited for the future of the Micro Four Thirds lens mount. I'm expecting Panasonic to hopefully put out some kind of GH7 in the near future with phase detect autofocus and all the great video features that we've come to love from Panasonic. But I think that's enough yammering on from me today. Again, if you wanted the full spec breakdown and and our full thoughts on the camera, visit the link in our description to check out the McBain blog. And otherwise, let's do a quick montage of the rest of the tests on this camera. <laughs> 